In this video, you will see how to integrate Shopify products into a WordPress website using the Shopify Buy button feature. This video is useful for people who are using Shopify to sell products and WordPress for blogs or their main website. You can follow the same process if your website is built on other platforms like Wix, Squarespace or anything else. Let's start. I am on the Shopify dashboard. First we need to add the buy button sales channel. Under sales channels, currently I have only one sales channel, online store. To add the buy button sales channel, I'll select this apps menu. Here I'll select this all recommended apps. And then at the bottom, I'll select Shopify app store. Here I'll search for buy button channel. This is the Shopify ad we are going to install. This app is free to use. I'll click this install button. Now under sales channel, I see the buy button sales channel. Let's create a buy button to integrate a product on the WordPress website. I'll select this create a buy button option. Here you get two options, product buy button or collection buy button. I'll select the product buy button. I'll select this product here. I'll click this select button. When I integrate this product on the WordPress website, this is how the product will look. Under layout style, I can change the view. If I set it to basic, it will look like this. Just the add to cart button. And if I select full view, it will look like this. I'll select this classic option. The button currently shows to add to cart, but I can change this to direct to checkout or open product details. It's up to you how do you want to display the product on the WordPress website. I'll select this direct to checkout option. So when someone clicks this buy now button on the WordPress website, it will directly go to the checkout page on the Shopify website. Here under button style, I can update the button design. I can set the corners for the button. You can set the button color according to the theme color of the WordPress website. Also you can update the fonts. Currently it is set to Helvetica new. You can set it to Arial or anything you like. And you can change the font size as well. After all the customizations, under layout, you can update the image size to medium or large. I'll set it to small. If you have multiple images for the product and you want to display them on the WordPress website, check this box. Now here you can preview the thumbnail of the images. You can set the alignment. You can update the buy now text to something else. If you want to display the quantity before they click the buy now button, you can check this box. You can update the color for this text, product title and the price. When you are done with all the design, click this next button at the top right corner. Here you will get an embed code. I'll click on this copy code. This website has been built with WordPress. I want to integrate the Shopify product on this WordPress website. On the dashboard, I'll go to posts. You can create a new post here or you can embed the product into an existing post. I'll add a post. Here I'll add any title like Shopify product on WordPress. To embed the copied code, I'll add a new block. Here I'll search with HTML. I'll select this custom HTML block. I'll paste the copied code here. When I click this preview button, I can see how the product will look. I'll click on this publish button. Let's preview it. This is how the Shopify product looks on a WordPress website. When I click this buy now button, it opens the checkout page from the Shopify store. The customers can quickly complete the checkout process on this pop-up. Here on the customize page, if I change this option to open product details and I'll save it, I'll copy the code again, I'll edit the post, I'll replace the code with the newly copied code, I'll click on this preview button. Now the button has been changed to view product. When I click this view product button, it opens this pop-up. I can click on this add to cart button and it opens the cart on the WordPress website. This cart is coming from the Shopify store. When I click on this checkout button, it opens the checkout page. So you have multiple options to customize how you want to integrate and display the Shopify product on the WordPress website. This method will also work with Wix or Squarespace websites. Don't forget to watch this video. I have explained the step-by-step -step SEO setup for a Shopify website. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.